Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, okay. sir. Okay. Uh, so let us continue our topic. Uh, this uh, today, uh, we we are going to discuss uh, different type of lighting. Yeah. So in the lighting, uh, basically, uh, we divide into five uh, type of light lighting. Yeah. Okay, number one uh, is about the omni or oh, sometimes we call it point yeah uh, omni or oh, sometimes they call it lamp second one is about the spotlight yeah third one is uh, area light and fourth one is sun light or hemi yeah, or distance yeah. and lastly is a linear linear light okay so point yeah for point light so this is the uh, let me show it to you uh, the illustration yeah for example uh, this is the point light Okay, and then uh, this is the point light, and then uh, it expanding. It is expanding the light. Okay, three hundred sixty degree. Yeah. How are the spotlight? Okay, in the spotlight, yeah. Can you see? If, let's see. If you don't see, let me use a red one. Uh, in the spotlight, okay. It expanding the light yeah, into the certain area, yeah. certain spot. Yeah. How about the area light? Yeah. Area light is a uh, uh, let's say something like monitor, uh, something like a, a monitor, yeah, not uh, something like rectangle, something like that, and then uh, it only cover. 100 degree 180 degree the coverage of the light okay. yeah, let's say this is the uh, there is a human here uh, or maybe uh, somebody here so it up cover 180 degree so this is a this is b Spotlight and this is uh, one, one, two, three. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, one, two. This is a three. How about the sunlight or hemi here? Yeah, for example, uh, you have a light here. Okay, so it uh, it expanding, it is expanding the. Uh, for example, uh, start from this one, uh, the energy is uh, 1000 here. Okay. Okay. The, and the receiver will also say receive, yeah, 1000. What? Okay. Sometimes we call it a uh, distant light. And last one is a linear light. Okay. Uh, linear light is a. Uh, you know the uh, the neon yeah so it show you uh, linearly like this okay something like this uh, especially if you create the 3d modeling for the neon uh, so, so you can use the linear light okay so this is the different type of lighting uh, the popular one yeah? the popular one actually basically there are a lot of variants uh, of the lighting yeah then uh, in Maya, we will use, uh, uh, they provided this one. And also in the blender, same. They have a, a spotlight, okay, point light, sunlight, yeah, area light, yeah, and so on. So, but this is the most popular one. Eh? This is spotlight, 360 degree. This is the lighting. All right. 
clear yeah the type of the lighting any question no sir let me proceed yeah so okay next is uh let's say you have an object here yeah? before we start uh, our lab okay uh, let me uh, briefly explain it to you uh, let's say you have an object here and then uh, you have a camera here uh, example okay. this is the camera and this is the object okay so uh, when you want to set up the uh, lighting yeah is it possible to put the light uh, behind the camera like this example possible or not possible hmm. and recommended or not not no why what's the reason uh because uh it will form a shadow eh, no no sorry sorry no i'm not sure yeah if you put the light thing uh, behind the camera what happened is uh the light will bounce back to the camera uh, it goes to the object yeah but it has a possible to bounce uh, into the camera if bounce to the camera something like brighter okay become a brighter then uh, of course it disrupt the uh, the object of the car the, uh, the uh, color yeah? the object color here so we want to set the lighting uh, we want to the object uh, observe the, uh, the 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 light okay and reflect it yeah, to the camera so it become uh, show the color yeah uh, if you put a uh, behind the camera it has possibility to bounce uh, the light uh, to the camera like this okay so when you want to uh, set up a light okay uh, i can recommend it you to put the light thing here in this area uh, something like uh, around uh, uh, 35 degree yeah okay. uh, not slash yeah but 2 to 60 60 degree 30 to 60 degree from the camera right so uh, in order to set up the light okay you need to prepare uh, some uh, properties yeah such as number one number one color color of the light second the energy third level fourth is uh, shadow what is the color of the light thing here let's say uh, this is the main one yeah let's say you you put as a main okay so we call it main yeah uh sometimes we call it key key lighting yeah? or main uh light yeah? uh when we when you want to set up the lighting then you have to determine yeah? four elements here four properties of the lighting here number one color color for the main lighting i can recommend it to you uh, to use uh white off uh off white color off white color uh, how about the energy uh, an example uh i can mention it's 1000 what yeah how about the level level here is it means the from the ground floor to the light okay let's say i can uh mention it actually depends on the case yeah 
let's say uh, in this case uh, this object okay has a, a level is 180 uh, centimeter example okay. uh, uh, a person has a tall uh, 180 centimeters so the level here you can mention about the 200 to 250 yeah, for the light for the main light okay. how about the shadow okay uh, i can recommend it to you yeah. for the main uh, for the main light here you can set the shadow yes yeah. so if you have a light here uh, supposedly the shadow will uh, show it here uh, something like this And if your light, uh, you put the light uh, in this area, okay. Of course, uh, uh, in this, uh, uh, what we call this, um, this area uh, become a dark, yeah? become dark. This area, uh, because you put here, yeah. Okay, this is for the main light. How about the uh, supportive light yeah. or sometimes we call it fill light or sometimes we call it uh, environment light so let's say I put where should I put let's say I put here is it okay can I put here the second light yes yes possible eh? possible eh? Uh, but i don't recommend it you to put here why uh, the reason is it is almost similar to the first slide okay. if you have a if you put uh, into this uh, into this location uh, on this location then same uh, same objective uh, similar so uh, I can put here. I will put here. Why? Yeah. Uh, if I set up the light, okay. Uh, let's say uh, I this 180, uh, 180. So I will put here. Why? Okay. To highlight uh, the the shadow here. Okay. Uh, yes, we have a shadow. Okay, but we have a uh, what we call some shadow in this area okay. we wanna uh, we wanna uh, make it uh, more uh, we can reduce the shadow of this in this area not in this yeah uh, this is the shadow uh, for the object okay but here also have it right so i i put the light uh, on this area uh, in order to uh, supportive uh, in a support the main area so basically uh, this is we call it environment area if you look at the environment what's the color dominant so we have a same question then we have to set up the the light uh, the second light here uh, i can call it uh, environment light or feel like so here you need to uh, set up the properties same like the uh, the main one what is color second energy level and for one is a shadow what is the color here? Environment color. Uh, we can say, uh, uh, we can define as a sky blue. How about the energy? Uh, if the main light is a 1000, so we can set the half. Yeah? Let's say uh, 100 watt. How about the level? 
tim kan ya you also can refer to the three angle light uh, in the studio uh, if you go to the studio uh, photography yeah. so you can see uh, there is a three angle right uh, how about the shadow yes or no come on shadow no yeah if you say yes show the shadow like in in this area so i can mention the shadow no okay we want to make it uh, uh, become uh, realistic uh, only the main one and this is for supportive uh, lighting yeah so uh, i define the shadow no all right how about the the third light where should i put the third light any one of you can recommend it mm, is it slightly above yes which uh, in which area uh, left side yes left side then we can uh, i agree yeah we can add the uh, uh, the third light okay uh, behind so in the uh, in the studio we call it backlight uh, sometimes we call it uh hair yeah hair light back or oh, hair uh, hair light uh sometimes we call it film light so the objective uh put this lighting uh, in this area uh, to to expanding the light to the to the head yeah. the, your head here your your hair okay uh, will get the lighting uh, yeah, from the back uh, usually we call it back light uh, on on the top uh, top left or maybe sometimes uh, on the center top uh, top center yeah uh, usually we put it on the uh, higher than the first and the second line do you know what's the the objective uh, they they uh, they put the back light or hair light here uh, if you still remember uh, in photoshop okay you when you want to trim the uh, what we call the face okay when you zoom in uh, the image okay uh, usually you want to uh, split between the object and the background isn't it yeah so when you zoom in if you have a, a backlight okay when you zoom in the image okay there is a gap between object and also the background yeah. usually it show in the uh, light uh white pixel okay so when you uh when you use uh, uh photoshop tools then you can uh show the edges of, of the object yeah you can uh, select the edges of the object easily because there is a gap between the background and also the object yeah. therefore you need the backlight if you don't have backlight what happened the object and the background will become uh merge yeah mix it yeah so difficult to you so in order to highlight yeah your uh, hair uh, your uh, your faces okay uh, then you need the backlight here how about the properties here number one yeah, same yeah do the same thing uh you should uh define yeah, the color Number one, color. Second, same, uh, energy. Third one is the level and shadow. Color. What should color uh, what color should be defined in this uh, 
uh, light ya yeah, backlight we can define as white ya yeah. how about the energy uh, supposedly uh, decrease than the main one so let's say i assign the half of the main and the level uh, it should be higher uh, than the object so i can define let's say 350 centimeter to 500 centimeter because the object here is 180. how about the shadow uh, i can say no no need to shadow shadow can be uh, show it on the uh, from the main one yeah? main so this is the way how to set up the light okay then you have to understand the uh, the properties for each light okay the criteria of the main okay, environment or field light and also the backlight or head or ring light okay so for each uh, properties uh, should be understand okay what's the why we put uh, on the higher why you put uh, as a main here why you why you put uh, in this location then you have to uh able to uh answer it yeah any other question not yet irfan safwan maybe yeah yeah no no okay so let us uh practice uh, after you know uh, how to set up the light, uh, then we need to practice. Yeah, let's say uh, let me open a blender eh? because some of the students are using a blender, isn't it? Uh, not not most, only one or two students. Okay. Okay, this is the uh the object let me add the plane here uh, because we want to bound the uh, the lighting and uh, the shadow uh, we want to see the shadow so i can add the plane uh, select mesh like this plane and then scale it yeah. example like this uh this is cube Okay, uh, this is the camera that you, this is your camera, and this is the lighting. Yeah. Okay, uh, when you render it, okay, then you can see this, uh, there is a lighting here and this is the uh, the object okay and this is the uh, the shadow yeah okay uh, let's say uh i see like the uh, bound, uh okay let's say i select the ambience occlusion here i click ambience occlusion and then i render again Is there any difference? Azim? Azrul? Yes. Azim, please. Is there any difference between uh, by tick uh, ambience? Yeah. By tick ambience uh, occlusion and antique ambience occlusion. What's different? For one, maybe. Fazrul. Irfan. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh. So what's the difference by 
uh, let's say I select the ambience occultation and untick uh, ambience occultation. Let me show it to you again. Yeah? Let me untick this one. Okay. And let me render it. Okay. This is the uh, without ambience occultation. If I click the ambience occultation and render it, then this is the result. So what's different? Mm, it looks uh, sharper. Sharper. How about the other student? Macam nampak lagi lah dia punya more bentuk dia, bentuk cube dengan shadow dia. Sekali semua nampak. Ah, dekat shadow, kenapa? So, sebab kalau nak tengok, dia macam cahaya tu daripada arah belah kanan. So, kanan cube. So, kita boleh nampak shadow dia daripada sampai ke belakang. Macam tu lah. So, ah, sampai. yes. Yes, yes, correct. Actually, correct that one. Uh, you know that when you untick this one, okay, basically what you look here is the local illumination. Okay. I can say local illumination because of, uh, let me create a new file. Uh, I think we need to save. This is local illumination because the energy or the, uh, the light uh, here, okay, it will go to the strictly like this. So we call it local. Yeah. It's different with if we click. Uh, let me close this one. Okay. Let's say I tick ambience occultation here. Yeah. Look at this. When I click ambience occultation, bounce approximately approximation here. Okay. Uh, render. So the lighting yeah, will reflect, will bounce, okay, goes to the here, maybe here, bounding, it reflect here, okay, here, okay, and here. Then you can see this, yeah, this shadow, yeah, little bit. But you can increase the bounce uh, effect, okay, you can set the bounce effect how many bounce effect uh, of your lighting. Then, of course, it will be uh, become uh, clear, yeah? Become the, sh uh, the, uh, the edge of the object, okay? Uh, in this uh, side, okay? Then become clear. So, because you are use a global illumination, you bounce the, uh, you bounce the lighting, reflecting yeah, into many times yeah, to all the area here. So that one is a local and global illumination. Okay. So if you uh, use a blender, then you can take uh, ambience oscillation, then you can set the factor uh, and uh, trace precision and so on. So now let goes to the uh, Maya. Open the Maya, uh, your uh, computer. Then we will practice how to set up the lighting and a little bit the camera. Yeah.
Okay. Example here, I select the poly modeling. Uh, sphere. Okay. Cube. And although and also a cylinder. So let let's say I go to the cylinder first, and then I try to edit it. I try to edit the properties. Uh, radius uh, maybe uh, 0 0.5 uh, height let's say one okay let's say the spear uh, let me translate it move to the top like this cube here cylinder here okay uh, you just imagine this is the uh, the head uh, uh, and then this is the bodies, yeah, the body of the human, yeah. Uh, example, like this. And I also uh, select the plane, okay. Uh, we want to see the reflect, uh, we want to see the shadow and so on, yeah. So I have to scale it. Uh, example, like this. Okay. Done. If you're done, please mention in chat box. Done, yeah. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, we can create the camera. How to create the camera? Uh, you can select this uh, create yeah, menu here. Select the camera. Choose the camera and aims. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Uh, this is the camera. Uh, I select the move tool here. Select the camera, then I drag it, uh, drag back to the here. So I can see that in this uh, there is a point here, so we call it the start point of the camera. Okay, and this one is your camera. Okay, so let's say I select uh, the start point, okay, and then press shift. Select the camera, both eh, selected. Then I can increase or translate it like this. Example. Okay. So I put, let's say, the uh, imaging. Yeah, this is uh, one hundred eighty centimeter. And uh, this is a camera. Okay, if you want to move a uh, camera, okay, you can select both. Yeah, something like this. Example. Yeah. Get it? Sir, that is camera that is here, guys. Hmm. Okay, I repeat balik. Okay, I repeat again. Select create. Camera. Camera and aims. Okay. Then, select only the camera. If you cannot uh, select the camera, goes to the here. Uh, the outlier. Drag it, yeah, the camera, back. Okay. After that, select uh, the start point of the camera. Press shift. Select the camera. So both are selected now. Then you can in uh, translate it to the top like this.
get it? If you're done, please mention down in the chat box. If you have a difficult, uh, if you have uh, some constraint, let me know. Eh? Okay, then. Okay, next uh, goes to the four uh, few. Oh yeah, before yeah, before before that. Yeah. Let's say if you want to see the camera view, okay, you can go to the panel, select uh, perspective, choose the camera. Ah, this is the camera looks like yeah, from the camera view. But if you want to go the uh, perspective again select the panel choose the perspective okay. let's say oh my camera supposedly uh i want to cover a little bit higher for example like this so let me see if the camera again become like this okay uh, enter the space button, okay? Then you can see four uh, different perspective view, right? Top, Z, X, and uh, your, your perspective here. So, in order to set up the light, okay? You can use the top, yeah? This is the top one. You can go to the grid here. Uh, select light yeah example uh, i'm going to use a uh, point light point light means 360 degree yeah lighting okay it automatic uh, it automatically generated uh, in the origin uh, location uh, we, 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 did, we didn't see yeah uh, here yeah, below yeah but if you if you want to select the the light you can select this one eh? same uh, goes to the outlier light then go to the top view drag it like this uh, zoom out let's say you don't like the grid here you can choose this one eh? to to remove the grid huh? so this is the camera then you can do it like this as you as we discussed before this is camera from view top y view camera uh, this is your light and this is the object okay you want to make it a little bit back uh, okay something like this uh, remember uh, around a 30 to 60 degree lah okay as long as uh, not behind the camera okay remember uh, when you want to set up the lighting there are four eh? number one color second energy yeah or intensity third level okay fourth shadow level first okay level uh, so after you set up the top Y location here, then you go to the X one. This is the X. So you select again. Then increase it. Okay. You can see into the translate Y here. Uh, but this one is not real one. Uh, as I mentioned, let's say the object here is uh, 180. So here so why you just translate three centimeters uh, because the object not 100 not 180 yeah just this just illustration yeah let's say a little bit uh, increase okay something like this 3.8 yeah. yeah so this is a camera this is the lighting okay any question the location level eh? 
level from the ground. Yeah. So supposedly a little bit higher than the object. Yeah. But you also can make it a similar uh, level with the object, 180. Okay, no problem. If you uh, take a photo in a, a studio, uh, mostly uh, they have a higher, uh, they, they set the light higher than the object. Done. If you're done, please write into the chat box. Done. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, select the the lighting okay level done number one back to the properties uh, that should be uh, set up color okay what is color here any one of you still remember of the main light white of white yeah not white yeah of white so you can go to the attribute editor. Uh, if you didn't see too small here, you can press the control A. Then they will show it to you. Yeah. So you can see the properties under these properties. Uh, type of uh, point light. Okay. You still can change. Okay. Let's say you want to change the others uh, area light and others later on. Eh? We will change this one. So uh, now we use the point light first. In order to set up the lighting, color. Yeah, color is important. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, for the main one, yeah, main camera, uh, main camera, main light, light, yeah. So the color is off white. So it looks like orange, like this. Let me go to the orange. And then let me activate the let me activate the lighting. Uh, this one, yeah. you need to click this one to see uh, the light that you have. Okay. Then let me go to the control key again. Okay. Uh, let me select the the light. Okay. So let me choose the okay. something like orange, but white off uh, off white. Yeah. So it will become like this. Yeah? Okay. then what else what else color intensity ah this one energy yeah uh, intensity uh under the intensity we have a decay rate yeah. so what is decay rate yeah. uh, basically uh decay rate is used to something like to drop the energy yeah uh, to get the natural light yeah if if you don't drop the energy uh, something like uh, the the closer object and the far object uh, receive the similar intensity. Uh, if you if you activate the decay rate, it become natural. Why? Uh, if you have a lamp, if you set the if you set the lighting uh, in that position, for example, but your object is far away, so supposedly they will receive low. Yeah, low, uh, low uh, intensity. Yeah, supposedly drop the energy. So then you need to choose the decay here. Uh, there are three options of decay: linear, quadratic, 
or cubic. Okay, let me choose the linear example. It become a duck like this. Then you need to set up the intensity. Change the intensity. Yeah, example. Yeah. And. But if you change the decay rate to be quadratic, it's not enough. 10, intensity level 10, not enough. Then you need to change, let's say, make it 50 or make it 100. So that, yeah, then you can see lighting like this. Yeah? You will receive it. Then if you can see the perspective camera. Uh, this is the lighting that you you can capture. Eh? Or yeah, you can use uh, another one is cubic. Ah, cubic. This one not enough. Intensity so one hundred. So make it five hundred example. Or make it seven hundred. Okay. So the linear quadratic uh, cubic. Uh, this is the the uh, the wave uh, form. Okay. The wave form of the lighting yeah so if you choose the linear it will be a uh, brightness uh, because you have a, a a larger intensity here okay, let's say i set the 20 become like this 20 so this is the dark uh, dark area Okay, color done uh, of white, energy done, intensity. Let's say I choose the linear example. Then you can choose the others. Yeah? Uh, level done, okay, from the ground floor uh, around the 200 something, okay, little bit higher than the object. Depends on the case study. Yeah? Uh, your case, for example, your object is 100 meters, okay, then you can set 120 for your light and shadow ah another one is shadow let me see the shadow uh let me choose the lighting yeah this light go to the uh shadow uh let me show it to you ah. shadow also in uh before this one light fog radius okay uh, shadow uh, you can see there is uh, they provide the shadow color <laughs> you can change the shadow color but if you make it natural supposedly uh, become a dark area eh? uh, i never see the shadow uh, red shadow i never see before but again uh, in maya you have a, a higher authority you have a powerful in maya because it is uh, artificial then you can define uh, based on your preference and you prefer to make it a, a different color that's yes you can you can do it but it is not realistic one so i ignore this one yeah so do next is a depth map show attribute uh, that when i click this one okay in order to display the shadow choose this one beside the light this one shadow uh, can you see oh i, I didn't see yeah let me uh, can you see <gasps> oh i changed it it's the camera sorry Okay, uh, let me fix it. Uh, actually, I, I I just changed the camera just now. Camera position. Supposedly, I choose uh, this one, yeah, perspective. Okay, let me fix it. Uh, point light. Uh, uh, I using. That's not. I I want to use uh, linear. And then, 
this one is a 20 isn't it 20 and then shadow okay look at this Okay. Okay. Uh, if you take this one, uh, this object, okay, you can see the uh, uh, the shadow, yeah, uh, behind of the object. But uh, you have a problem when you render it okay? because use depth map show uh, shadow, yeah, use depth map shadow. It is uh, for actually for the images, yeah. Uh, when you render for the animation, let's say uh, something like uh, people move uh, around, then you want to show it the shadow. Yeah. So I don't use this one. You have to untick. Then you can scroll down. Okay. Use ray trace shadow. This one. And you also can see the, the shadow, but in detail. You can uh, also uh, change the shadow, yeah. light radius, shadow ray, uh, ray depth uh, limit, and so on. Let me see this one. Eh? Okay, this is perspective. Then if I want to see the camera, then become like this. Any question? Any question regarding to the key uh, light or main light here? No, sir. Okay, can we proceed? To the second light, uh, environment light, yeah. Oh, you want to show it to me? Uh, one of you, this Muhammad Shamin. Muhammad Shamin, can you show it to me? Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Uh, shadow. Shadow. <laughs> I tried to change it to the green, but nothing happened. I don't know why. Ah. Uh, you need to click the shadow first. That one. This one. Uh, can you see uh, beside the uh, lamp? Uh, no, 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 not that one. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, go up. Uh, where is your mouse? Uh, here, on the shadow color. Uh, wait, okay. Uh, listen to me. Go to okay. the light. Go to the light. Okay. Uh, okay, stop. Okay. Up. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, your, your cursor, only cursor. Up again. Yeah. <laughs> you mean move it, move it your, up? Uh, no, not moving up. Your uh, eye. Bawah panels. Hover so, so. mouse go. Hover mouse go. Bawah panels and renderer uh, semua. Gerakkan dekat panel. panel. Oh. No, no, no. De dekat panels, renderer, ada uh, show lighting semua tu. Bawah. Sebelah light bulb. Cari light bulb. Belah kanan dia. Ada bentuk light bulb. Tempat lighting tu. Tempat on light. Uh, oh, ah, ah, yeah, yeah. 
then uh, you need to click use depth map shadow. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. But uh, if you change into green or others color, yeah, okay lah, just for uh, testing and so on. But it is not realistic. Yeah? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can use it if for okay. images. Yeah, you can use it for images. But if you render it as an animation, uh, don't use uh, use depth map shadow. Uh, but you can okay, use so. the uh, try uh, antic use depth map shadow. Uh -huh. Then use the below, the below, the properties of below. Uh, you can use ray trace shadow. Yes. Uh, this is more uh, uh, better, uh, better accuracy and so on. But I didn't see something like you already updated, yeah? <laughs> shadow <laughs> ray and so on. Okay. Later on, you, you can customize, yeah? Or you can use okay. the make default. Okay. Uh, let us proceed the second light. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the lighting not enough for uh, only one. Okay, uh, let me go to the uh, perspective here. Okay, in order to create the second light, uh, as we uh, defined before, okay, uh, I can. Uh, go to the top yeah, example like this uh, this is the object so i select the the light okay uh, control d and then i can change it the uh, position uh, again if i put like this okay uh, i don't recommend it to you because almost similar with the main one uh, we are going to use the uh, uh, what we call uh the supportive lighting yeah. so also we also can see yeah, if i can you see ah lighting the second lighting uh, maybe i will put here mm. all right so this is the second lighting yeah uh, two shadow because i just copy and paste yeah I did not set the properties. So number one, again, for the second, uh, supportive lighting or environment lighting. Uh, what is the color? Or maybe I, I try to remove shadow first, yeah? Because the supportive doesn't have a shadow. So I untick this one, okay? Uh, what is the color? Do you still remember? Sky blue. <laughs> okay. Then I can choose this one, blue. Uh, then I can make it like this. Sky blue. Maybe I can see from the camera how it looks like. Sky blue, yeah. And then what else? Uh, color, energy, right? Uh, what is the energy? Make it half huh? because the main is 20, so I can put a, uh, 10. Yeah. Again. So it become like this. What else? Level, same. Yeah. Shadow, no. Uh, done. Eh? So Number one, color, uh, sky blue. Uh, second one is about the uh, energy, uh, half, uh, then the main one. Third one is the level. Okay, here I use the same level from the uh, from the second, uh, from the first, uh, from the main one. Uh, uh, and last one is the uh, shadow. Uh, I make it no, uh, no shadow. All right. How about the third one? Uh, we call it back light, uh, hair light. So let me copy the the third, uh, the second one. Yeah, Control D, like this. Uh, 
Uh, can you see uh, into the camera here? Example like this. So there is a uh, something like lighting from the uh, back, yeah, back lighting. It show the hair like this, uh, in the hair like this, yeah. So uh, let let us set up again uh, the properties. Control A. What's the color? White. White. Okay. White color. Intensity uh, uh, half of the main, right? Uh, decay linear, and then the shadow. No, uh, we don't want to use the shadow. Okay, what else? Mm. Uh, the level, all right? The level should be higher, isn't it? Then you can see here. Ah, this X. Okay. Uh, let me select the lamp number three. Okay. I uh, will make it higher. Look at the. Can you see uh, in the camera? Uh, in the camera view. Uh, I will make it higher. Let me see. Now is. This is example is uh, 3.8. So this one, uh, nine, uh, nine point, uh, uh, 5.6 example. Eh? But if you make it realistic, okay, you uh, calculate the, uh, what we call, uh, the, the object, okay, then you can set. See, I change it into N a little bit darker. I make it where is the intensity? Let's say this is ten. Five. This is a light uh, for the uh, backlight. Okay. This is the uh, main light and this area for the uh, supportive light. You see the perspective. Play like 
Okay. Uh, can can I see uh, your uh, screen with the three setup lighting? Any one of you? Uh, maybe let me choose Aina Sakira. Saya ke sir? Uh -uh. Ah, okay, okay. Sekejap eh. Senampak tak? Huh? Uh, I see something like I didn't see uh, where is the backlight uh, mm -hmm. effect. Uh, something like your properties. How is the setup properties? Sekejap. Saya, saya terlepas tadi dekat backlight. Backlight. Mm -mm. Uh, can you can you show it uh, the properties of backlight here? So this one is supposedly white, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Double click. Is it white? I don't think so. Is it white? So, so um, yes, uh. okay. Uh huh. Just the white. Okay, maybe okay, start from the main, yeah. Main mm. one. Can yeah. I see the main? Uh, where is the main? This. Okay. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Uh, for the main, uh, supposedly of white. Yeah, okay, yes. correct. But mm -hmm. the intensity maybe 10, yeah? 10, okay. Uh -huh. Because you use linear, right? Enter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect into the perspective. Mm -hmm. How about the second one? This one. Uh -huh. Ah, this is... Uh, okay, can you change the color? Color. Okay. This. Uh -huh. uh, okay. I think start from the main one. Can I see the main one again? The main. Okay. Intensity linear. Scroll up. This one. Uh, I think there is uh, some effect supposedly not too brighter. Yeah? Mm. Uh, okay, can you change them to the decay rate to the others? Let me see. Uh, quadratic, for example. Oh, okay. There is effect. Huh? Okay. Mm. Okay, that one. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, we have to check one by one, huh? the light thing. Uh, go to the... Uh, sec, uh, you, you, you need to change, for example, decay rate linear. Uh, try to use the similar. We want to see uh, linear. linear. And then uh, intensity... 10. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, 10. Okay, uh, how about the others? Uh, something. Intensity 1. You say ambient light? Oh, no. Uh, oh. no we, we didn't touch. It's point light. Point light. Uh. Oh, ah, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, all the uh, using uh, point light uh, first. Okay, okay. So yeah, you need then. Uh, where is your camera eh, actually? <laughs> Why the shadow here? Sekejap, sekejap, sekejap. 
Kita nak tengok yang camera view tu eh uh, Why the shadow, there are two shadow eh <laughs> Hmm, I, I can see that there are two shadow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, choose the select the supportive light, environment light. Where is it? This one. Oh, environment. You, you also put the higher, yeah, uh, supportive light, yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, make it, uh, you can reduce it. Uh, you can uh, go down. Down. Uh huh. Lagi. Okay, but the problem now is uh, okay. Backlight has a shadow. Mm. Yes. Down. Antik. No, no. Uh, it's correct. Okay. Uh, antik use the trace shadow. Antik. Uh, ni. Only. Yeah. Ini yang buat shadow. Ah. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, try to explore. Um, this one. Can I see the other student? Thank you, sir. Okay. Can I see the others? Uh, Azim Halim, maybe? No, yeah. Let me share again. For me. Okay. This is perspective. Yeah? If you see the camera, uh, this looks like. I go to the perspective one. Huh? All right. So this is a point, yeah. uh, point is a 363. For example, let me change uh, this one, point light, okay. Uh, let's say I choose the area light. Yeah. In the area light, yeah, you can see uh, this one, yeah. you can rotate it. Mm. No, no, no. Uh, I will go to the top Y. Okay. Can you see this one? Uh, this is the uh, we call it uh, area light. Okay. Then you can rotate it. Okay. And make it uh, in front of the make it the uh, rotate the the area light. Okay. To the object. Okay. So make it in front of the object. So something like this. You also can uh, scale it, yeah. Scale the the area light, make it larger, like this. Okay. Uh, you just make sure that uh, this one is a, a, a cover. A, a, the cover, uh, the light is covered in front of the camera. Okay. Uh, don't do like this, yeah. Uh, example. Oh, 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 wait a moment, I, I'm selecting the camera. Uh, for example, uh, this one, translate it. Ah. Uh, example, uh, this is your camera, okay, and this is your lighting. So, again, if you put behind the camera, it has possibility to bounce the light yeah, to the camera reflect to the camera here so uh, you have to make sure that uh, this one okay at least okay at least okay uh, in front of the camera a few yeah, a few if you especially if you use a, a what they call area light yeah become like this so this is your camera and this is the area light you can resize it like right, until like this then if you look if you want to see the perspective uh, this is a 
you also can see the perspective camera okay and you can select number area light okay you can play the intensity for example is 20 yeah, you increase it Not like this here is the backlight here is the uh, area light okay and then this one is a supportive light let's say this too big uh, you can change it you can scale it Something like this so better eh? other than spotlight so most of the uh, studio okay uh, photography studio they use uh, uh, area light uh, instead of the uh, uh, instead of the point light yeah? point is a 360 degree but spotlight we we want to uh, expanding the light uh, 180 degree Try. Try to change. Uh, from the supportive also you can use the uh, area light let me see the other student work for example Nurul Muazza at least one student show it to me the area light here fun maybe mm -hmm. yes sir yeah yes can you share your screen okay no. uh. Uh, uh, actually, mm, where is the main one? By uh, 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 where main is the main? opposition? Say, uh, entah, say, ni main. Huh? Eh, bukan, 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 bukan. <laughs> 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 oh the second one okay uh, remember i uh, i told you that uh, the main okay put on the uh, beside of the camera okay? beside the camera uh, 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 there are four huh? <laughs> four lighting <laughs> Three. Three enough. Yeah, <laughs> uh, anyone? Uh, on the right or left? Huh? Move to the top. Uh, not, not the top. Sorry. Uh, 180, 180 degree, and then you are trying to uh, spot the shadow. Ah. Uh, how 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 is it? Uh, the second one, the uh, supportive uh, light, okay, okay. to uh, expand the the light to the shadow. Oh, 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 
Okay, uh, let me share it mine ya. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, can you see? Uh, okay, uh, this is a, a better. Okay, so have a look here. Okay, this is my camera. Okay, this is the main light. Okay, main light that uh, provide the shadow. Okay. And this is the uh, supportive, yeah, supportive light. You also can. Uh, usually, uh, this is 180, 180 degree. Then usually on the in this area, because we wanna uh, expand the the light uh, to the shadow, uh, to the dark area here. Because you once your main uh, here, okay, if your main here, okay, the the shadow become here, right? So we wanna spot in this. Uh, spot at this area shadow let the shadow create like this and but behind yeah, behind the uh, object yeah, we will cover by uh, uh, environment yeah, or feel light okay. this one uh, for the head yeah, head of the object uh, from the top yeah so let's say uh, let me show it to you where is my plane not enough yeah. panel perspective camera okay can you see okay this is the third one yeah third okay can you see the difference they spot from the from the top This one, uh, second light, not maybe not like this, yeah, like this. Ah, can you see? So this one is for uh, a spot for the uh, the shadow, uh, the, uh, the the behind of the object. And this is the uh, the main one, uh, but if I look at the main, uh, I don't have a, a shadow yet. Oh, yeah, I have it. Uh, this one, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I changed again. Okay, yeah. Uh, others maybe, other student. At least one, Shahmi, Shahmin, maybe. Can you show it to me using a uh, area light? Apa? Asli tak ada Shahmin. I I know. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, Boleh dengar saya? Ya, boleh, boleh. Okay. Ini area light. Okay. So, there are four, eh? Four light. Three enough, eh? Ya. Ada empat. Ya, uh ya. -uh. Satu buang. Ini overhead. Oh, ada tiga je. Oh. Ini back light. environment. Uh, environment. Environment. Ah, yang tu buat. Ah. Like thing tu. Okay. Nanti lagi. Like so for the uh, area light, uh, increase the intensity. The area light. Ah, okay, nice. This this is perfect one. Okay. Uh, just playing the what we call the environment. Oh, okay lah. Okay lah, acceptable. Uh, uh, this is the what what we want. Uh. Uh, any okay. other question? Maybe. Thank you, Shami. Let me stop recording. Eh?